the functionality of in the links barefoot active utility. In this video we will speak about different functions which are presented in in the links barefoot active utility and we also will try to recover data from a damaged SSD drive based on this type of controller. Uh, so, for now we have connected OSZ Vertex drive. Uh, you can see it, its photos uh, in reference book files. And uh, this drive have problems with main microcode which situated in memory chips. And this damaged microcode does not allow us to reach data with classic way of SSD drive connection through the windows. Because for now I this drive is automatically reaches the safe mode and the safe mode is not work with Windows normally. So for now we should firstly set the special jumper on these pins which will help us to reach safe mode. Uh, all in the links based drive have these special pins and for getting access to safe mode to tech mode on this drive we must firstly set the jumper on these pins. After that, let's make power on and launch our universal utility. This utility provides some basic information about connected drive and we see that uh, our SSD drive is successfully reached the safe mode and uh, this drive returned to us some information about that in model string. So here we can see that uh, our drive is get up don't bear foot uh, ROM but uh, it's only a sign that uh, current drive situated in tech mode. If we will try to reach the data even if our drive situated in tech mode with jumper mm, we will see that utility will return us only mm, the first sector probably it is some kind of one sector which is write it in ROM and uh, if we will try to set any other LBA, utility will return to us only this sector. So for now we can see that data is not reachable and before we will start recovery we need to exit from active utility, switch the power and launch in the links barefoot utility. It required some time before utility will pass initialization process. For now drive trying to uh, reach the tech mode, trying to send special uh, command to utility and after that utility will send uh, tech mode command to SSD drive and will activate it uh, for further recovery. Right now in luck we can see information about connected drive, we can see the full capacity we can see the maximal LBA which available for user and uh, other additional information like band count, like um, chip IDs and other information. And for now if we will try to uh, reach the data on this drive we will see that uh, in active utility after we successfully activate the tech mod drive fully return to us our data. And before we will try to reach um, the data on this drive we need to switch back to our PC3000 kernel window, launch new task, create a task and uh, choose our um, SSD drive connected to uh, ATA0 channel. So it's a PC3000 utility bus. Let's select it, click next and create a new task. And after that we, we see that uh, data is fully workable and we can reach all folders on this drive and our recovery is completed.
So the recovery process on uh, this SSD drive is very simple. Everything that you should do just to set a jumper, but firstly, of course, you need to uh, find these pins. Uh, often they are situated near the SATA port and uh, there is no problem to detect where they are. After that, you need to launch uh, Active Utility uh, in the Linksbury Foot Active Utility, uh, then reach the tech mode and create a new task, getting the data. Although this utility provides us some functions which will help to save dumps, uh, to save dumps with uh, preparations, and after that uh, try to recover data without um, chip desoldering, but with the classic way, like a common USB flash drive recovery through the PC3000 uh, kernel mode. And uh, for now let's try to check different options which presented in test mode. And right here we can see the utility status, we can see uh, some reading parameters which are automatically set for mm, connected drive and uh, if we we'll leave all mm, values by default we are able to mm, save dumps from our SSD drive with all this preparation like XO elimination, like interleaf elimination mm, and other preparation steps. Also uh, this test folder contains service information options which uh, contain mm, a security subsystem and password information option. With uh, this option we are able to check uh, which password is set on uh, this drive. Also we can see mm, uh, the bad blocks uh, table which allowed us to check which blocks in this drive is bad. And also it uh, allowed us to I did the max LPA of this drive. The user data option contains dump saving option which allow us to save dumps with preparations. We already set some, some options in utility status uh, for data preparation, so for now if you will try to save the dumps, all dumps will be saved with preparations. And also here presented a drive tests options which allowed us to read the chip ID uh, to make the test of flash memory chips and of course uh, the final option is drive reinitialization. Uh, this option allowed us to uh, make safe reset of our drive and reinitialize our utility. So that's all about IndieLink's um, Barefoot um, utility. As you can see, uh, the data recovery process is very simple um, in compare of different utilities like um, Intel, uh, Postville and Marvel Van Gogh utility. It contains less uh, different options for data saving, but uh, anyway, um, it provides very uh, stable functionality and very stable way of data recovery from such drives based on this type of controller. And in the past uh, we should to recover data from this SSD drive with chip desoldering and it takes a lot of uh, time. Mm, and for now uh, the complete process is uh, very simple, mm, so you shouldn't have any problems with uh, recovery data from this drive. So that's all. If you have any questions about uh, utility functionality or you need help in SSD data recovery, so please uh, contact with our technical support service and our engineers will help you.